In this video, I'm going to go over how to compute the average of numbers in an array. And we'll go with a double array. So we'll say double, and we'll say R1 is equal to, and we'll just throw some random numbers in there. So we'll say like 5.2, 9.3, 6.5, uh, 4.1, and maybe 7.8. And so we've got numbers in our array now. So to compute the average of this array, what we're going to do is we're going to add up the numbers in the array and divide them by the total of the numbers in the array. So the total number of numbers in the array, I should say. So we've got, you know, five numbers in the array. So we're going to sum those numbers up and then we're going to divide it by five. So to sum the numbers, we're going to have to have some variable to store the sum. So I'm going to say here, double sum is equal to zero. And then to sum the numbers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a loop that's going to have a counter variable I that's going to be incremented by one each time. And it's going to go up until the length of the array. And so it's going to first look at index zero, then index one, index you know two. And then when, when it reaches index four, that'll be the last index it, it actually reaches. And then at that point, I will be five and it will stop the loop and, and we're done summing the numbers. So we'll just add the number to the sum each time. We'll say sum is equal to sum plus R1 at I. And what this is doing is it's taking the number in the array at index I and adding it to the sum each time. And we're starting off this counter variable I at zero, and it's just gonna keep getting incremented by one each time in each iteration of the loop and keep on adding the next index into the sum. If you're ever unsure about how your code is working, you can always just throw in a printf and just print out values and, and just sort of see how uh, things are working. And so we could print out maybe like the, uh, we could print out the array index that we're looking at. We could print out the current array index value that we're looking at, like the current value of the array at that index. And we could print out the sum just to see like what's going on inside our loop. And it's never wrong to do this. This is, this is something you can do to help you figure out how programs are working. So we'll compile our program here and we'll run it here. And we see that we get here, you know, array index zero is 5.2. That makes sense. We, the sum is going to be 5.2 because we've just added it to the sum. That makes sense. Array at one is 9.3. Okay. That makes sense. And we're adding it to the sum. We get 14.5 now. And this all is making sense, right? It, it sort of aligns with what we were trying to do. And, and we can see here, you know, the sum at the end is 32.90. And at that point, you know, after we've added the last index of the array to the sum, the loop terminates and there's no more printing. So this all aligns with what we were trying to do. And this kind of printf that we throw into our loop here can help us to trace and debug our program to make sure it's working correctly. So after we've computed the sum, we want to compute the average. So I could say here, let's make a variable for average and we'll just take the sum and we'll divide it by the number of elements in the array, which is five, and that'll compute the average. And then we could print out the average. So we could say print F average percent uh, dot two LF, and we'll print out the average. So we'll just compile it again, run it again. And I'll just put this on a new line. Actually, I'll put, I'll put a new line after that. Just that way we kind of get a clearer output than this. That's a little bit mucky there. I'm going to hit clear, compile it again, run it again. And you see, we get an average of 6.58 when that makes sense. Cause like 32.9 divided by five, that's going to work out to 6.58. The number, the number makes sense. And so that's computing an average. Um, I mean, really the one thing I guess maybe that's a little different here is we've got this 0.2. So percent D and percent dot LF and percent LF, those are going to help us to print out integers and, and double values. And the dot two, what that does, the dot two says printed out with two decimals. So we get the, the 0 0.20 and the, the 0.58 there with the, with the 0.2. If I said 0.3, it'll print it out with, you know, with three decimal places there. So we get, you know, 6.580. So that's just a little thing there. So we've got this code for computing the average. The only thing with it is that right now it's set up to only work with an array that's called R1 and it has length five. What would be really nice is if we could make this more generalizable, such that this will work with all different arrays. Also, right now, if we wanted to compute the average for a you know different array, we'd have to copy and paste this code and you know make it work for that array, which also isn't really ideal. So what would be really nice is if we put this into a function that'll allow us to compute the average. 
And then we could just call that function. So let's make a function called double, and I'm gonna call it for short, I'm just gonna call it AVG, because most people would know that means average. It's gonna take in an array as an argument. It's also gonna take in the length of the array as an argument as well. So after we've got that function declaration there, let's go down here and make the function definition. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna copy and paste this code because I'm essentially gonna reuse the same logic inside this function now. And the advantage of making it a function like this is that I can just call it whenever I want now for any array that I want. And what we're gonna do is we'll still keep the sum variable because I have to sum the values in the array. I called the array parameter array. So I'm just gonna rename this, this variable here, r1 to array1. And I'm gonna get rid of the printf because I really just put the printf in there to help me figure out what's going on to make sure I'm understanding things correctly. But now that I know what I'm doing, I'm gonna take it out because I'm like, okay, I get what's going on now. I'm, I'm confident it's okay. And what we'll do is we're gonna change this loop so that now it's gonna work for the length that is given to this function. So it's gonna work for an array of any length now. We can modify the length and we've made it more dynamic. And then what I'm gonna do is instead of storing average to a variable, what I'm doing is I'm just gonna return the average. I'm just gonna return the average value as a double. So I'm actually just gonna take the sum and say return sum divided by length. So return the sum divided by the length. Okay, so now let's try to compute the average for a few arrays. So I'm gonna say like R2 is equal to, and we'll make it like just one value, we'll make it like 10. And R2, we can make this, or R3, we can make this an array with a couple values in it. We could say like 9.8 and 9.8, or maybe, maybe, we could, maybe we make it different values. We'll say 9.8, 9.6, so then it should be 9.7 there. And then I'll say double R4 is equal to, and we'll say like negative 50, 50, negative 100, 100, and negative 20, 20. And, or maybe just negative two and two. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna print out the average for each one of these arrays using our function here. So we'll say print F, and we'll say R1 average percent dot two LF, and we'll call our function here. We'll call our function average with R1 and it's length five. And then we're gonna do the same thing for, um, uh, for R1 and R, for R2, R3, and R4 as well. Um, and so we'll, we'll call the average function for those arrays too. And I'll just copy and paste this code actually, just so that way we can just kind of do it again and again here. And I'm just gonna change the value. So R2 and R2, and the this one only had one element in the array. R3, R3, it had two elements in the array, and R4 and R4, and R4 had, what, six elements in the array? So we'll try to run this now. And we get 6.58 again, 10, which makes sense, 9.7, which makes sense, and we get zero, which makes sense, because here we're adding like the number and the negative number, the number and the negative number, so it should sum to zero, which should actually give us an average of zero. And so, now we have this, this function here for computing the average, and we can call it whenever we need it. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.